I tested 10 different AI art generators to see what it would give me and the results are pretty surprising. I even used our own Kittle AI at the end. So check out what happened when I put this prompt into 10 different AI art tools. All right, so the first one we're going to try is Mid Journey. Of course, it's a big one. I I pay for Mid Journey myself because I liked it when it first came out and I did a trial. And I have the prompt here that I actually asked ChatGPT to help curate. I asked it to give me a prompt that would be uh, not so hard to accomplish, but still challenging enough to test a series of AI art generators. So when I asked ChatGPT to give me the prompt, I said, let's give it a focal point and let's just make the focal point be a skull. Here's the prompt. I'm hitting enter and we're just going to see what happens. All right. So we're starting to get something here. Ooh. Okay. I really like these two on the, on the, the right side. I love the, 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 they're very similar. And this one has some like embellishment and stuff on it. And I do like the black and white, but I, I really like this one that's on black. So let's just upscale four so we can see that just a little bit better. But that actually did a pretty good job. I mean, Mid Journey is pretty fire. Okay, another one we're going to try is Blue Willow. Apparently, the, the benefit of Blue Willow is that it gives you higher resolution images when you, when you, up, when you upscale it. I'm gonna give it the same exact prompt that I gave mid journey. So I'm hitting enter, my hands are off the keyboard. Uh, let's go and look at it. So uh, I have heard that this one is a little bit more on the digital art side of things. So even though I used words like photorealism and things like that, but let's upgrade number four. Okay, so there's a render, it's very art heavy. It's it's nicely illustrated. There's not a ton wrong with the teeth. We've got a big gap here in the middle, but generally we don't have like 8,000 rows of teeth or anything. We do have some interesting things happening down here, but I think that's just paint. Okay, the next one we're going to try is Photo Leap. I've actually had not heard of this one until I was started looking up alternatives uh, to Mid Journey, of course. So there it is, the same exact prompt that I gave Mid Journey and Blue Willow. And let's see what it gives me. This is also, okay. Wow, that was, okay, that was one very fast. Um, and number two, uh, very cropped wide angle shot at the end and see if that'll give me, I, that's crazy that was that fast. Okay, so similar vibes. I think this, yeah, this is definitely, I'm just getting the, it looks like the trial of the free trial. I don't know how this isn't free, but I guess I could go on and like start a free trial and maybe it gives me like a better, like, you know, a, a better representation or something. Okay, the next one we're going to try is Starry AI. I've heard a lot about this one. I've had people talk to me about this. Looks like you have five credits. I signed up for this one. Let's try this one because I just really want to see what it does. Oh, and it looks like you can, oh, this is cool. Landscape nice let's go portrait oh these are all pro oh maybe i get like one pro i don't know anyway we're, we're gonna go with this it's fine i i want a portrait anyway okay let's give it <laughs> everything Ooh, remove from the image i don't know what that means uh okay well enter la oh silliness let's get rid of some of these floral words yeah, there we go. Okay, we're gonna get something. We're gonna get something from this one. Am I supposed to click on this? Oh, oh, it did, it gave it to me. Okay, interesting. Okay, and then, oh wow, it actually gave, oh, it's giving me four options. Okay, so this, this gave me, well, that's clearly like plastic or something, but actually a nice high resolution version of a realistic uh, uh, skull. See, this was the other thing. I, I, I felt this happens sometimes when I try to get a prompt like this. It gives me very like Day of the Dead vibes and like, you know, filigree and, and stuff all over the skull, which is not exactly what I'm going for. I was going for more of what, what you saw on the in Mid Journey. Uh, I want to go back to here and I want to try it with art. Oh, I could have just changed it there. Okay. Let's just try. Let's see what happens. Oh, style. Oh, okay. So this one has styles like Kittle does. Okay. Uh, we got to go portrait because we don't have square, I think. 
and let's generate. Okay, so here we have, wow, okay. I selected the art category and this almost looks more hyper realistic, like a video game render of really high, anyway. So there's another one. This one's pretty intense. And here's another one here. That's actually pretty cool. And this is an interesting take. This is an interesting take how with more tweaking and getting getting rid of some of the floral language again this is supposed to be a challenge for the all the ais so okay the next one up is gonna be adobe firefly i'm sure a lot of you all have heard about this one and let's see if it'll give me okay i can put all of it in here oh my gosh okay and, and we're only on the text to image one here there's a couple of other ones but we're on currently the text to image version of this let's see what it does oh my gosh and okay so i was a little afraid of this again and again i think that's the nature of the i think it's the nature of the prompt also this is nice you can change the you can change the ratio there which is really cool but let's go graphic oh and it's just gonna i mean that's like the same thing right let's go photo whoa that's intense there's like a almost like a person happening here yeah this is like giving a person okay okay let's go clear style Let's go generate image. So this is no style selected. Oh, you can change the color and the lighting and everything. Okay, this is already a lot better. Already a lot better. So now let's go photo. Yeah, this is cool. So that's that's pretty nice, I think. It's a, so maybe a little bit too colorful. This one's actually pretty nice. I think this one's pretty cool. It's like cracked and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Next, we're gonna use Microsoft Designer. And I have tried this one already. I have a Microsoft account. I don't really use Microsoft anything except Word. And I'm going to generate the image. So let's see what happens. I'm going to, uh, yeah. I'm just tight. I'm just again. I'm always given the benefit of the doubt. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Images couldn't be generated. Something may have triggered Microsoft's responsible AI guidelines. Probably the sentence that says depicting the the difference between life and death. Probably. So I just got rid of the line about like the fragility between death and life or something like that, which is pretty intense. Okay, this is actually not not awful here. I think. I don't know why I'm supposed to select this. Describe the design you'd like to create. I don't want to do any. I just want to see the. I just want to see the image. Yeah, I just want to see. Okay, customized design maybe. Pretty cool, right? I mean that that's pretty that's pretty hyper realistic. But it didn't look like I could do or do it again. I kind of just wanted to look at it first, and it didn't look it didn't look like there was a way to upgrade it or change it again. And this looks like it's opened up now. Yeah, now I'm in the designer itself. So that's a little weird. Okay, next up we have crayon. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, just straight crayon. And I haven't logged in or signed up for this, but it is giving me the option to type into this and select a, a thing. So let's go with photo. And okay, it let me it let me paste all of it. You guys saw that. It let me paste all of it in there. Gosh, there's like a million ads all over the place here. Okay, well, whatever. Let's hit draw. Okay, so it looked like it, it generated a lot of different options uh, and you can choose one and upscale it. I, they're all a little bit in, a little bit too intense. Maybe this one I probably like the best out of all of them. Um, I guess let's just see what happens when we hit upscale. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it kind of looks like we have like three rows of teeth, which is a little weird, or maybe all of these teeth are cracked or something. And I th feel like I could see the florals better before I upscaled it. But you know what? The ability to come right here and just type it in and, and try it. I mean, clearly you're getting lower result, lower resolution results than I would assume if you signed up and like paid for one. Okay, the next one we're going to use is Dream. Another one where you can just go in here. I didn't sign up for this one or, or create an account. You can just test it out and it looks like you can select an art style now you only get 200 characters for this all right so i mean i've given it description words but now we can we can select an art style and it looks like there's some premium ones that you know obviously you would have to, to upgrade this to, to do fantasy art let's try it create i don't i don't think that's a skull pretty intense it looks like maybe some sort of plant or skeleton for a 
alien. Let's try mystical. Yeah, it's struggling. It's struggling, I think, with skull. Oh, ink. Maybe we'll go ink. Something very flat, maybe? All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it, it, it was these areas here. It's a little interesting because we've got these kind of like inky grunge happening behind it here. But that's cool. I really like this lotus style flower. We still have kind of painting on the skull, but generally this is pretty cool. Um, it was not, it was not really, I don't know why it was able to render that, but not those other styles. Okay, next one up we're going to try is Leonardo. I recently signed up to Leonardo because Juna talked about it in one of his videos. Um, I also don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, user tools, AI image generation. This we use eight tokens. Okay, sure. Let's just see what it gives you. Oh, this is nice. Okay. We still have, we still have, I haven't quite figured out how to give this the non day of the dead vibes, but it, it's still cool. We almost have some like henna tattoo vibes happening here. That's actually really cool. Um, and this one's got some, some color to it. Okay. And now it is time to use Kittle AI, use our own AI art generator right in Kittle. You don't have to go anywhere else, especially if you're working on a t-shirt design or anything else. You can actually not select a style. So look, you see, so you can select one and it's green, but you can just unselect it. So I'm going to put Kittle to the test a little bit here with the same thing. Um, I'm going to paste it in there, but I'm also going to get rid of generate A because that's silly. Highly detailed. Okay, so I'm going to leave most of this in here. No image styles are selected. Generate it. Okay, and so we have a very, I think, tame, kind of roughed sketch version of a skull, which looks like maybe some, like, holly or something around it. Let's just leave this on here, and let's select a style. So let's go with, uh, let's go with photography. Let's see what happens when we generate this in an actual photogenic way. This is cool. I, I see some flowers here. Now, what's going to be really helpful for Kittle, and some of you have talked about this and, you know, given feedback on this, is when this happens, you don't have, like, what you would think is a full render of a image. The image is nice and big. You can scale it up or whatever. But what would be better is if we do, like, wide-angle shot, zoomed out, and just by adding those two, this next render should have focus on the integral part at the beginning. So now you can see I added that already, and you can see more of the skull right there. And that looks pretty cool. I mean, we're, we're getting kind of... I, I've, I've left words like dark and moody in there, but now we have all these other styles that we can still play with. So we, we didn't even try digital art yet, which is the most hyper-stylistic version that all of the AIs use. Is this just general digital art tag or whatever you will okay so that one is a little interesting there's a lot going on it looks like we have like a maybe a deformity or like a third eye socket over here go oil painting i think that could look really cool oh that's cool that's a cool oil painting so we have yeah it, it's just interesting to see how all of the different ai's place like the flowers and place the skull and things like that. I want to try one more as foggy scenery. You know, I think that's going to give me a really cool warm color. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So it looks like we have we definitely have brighter colors going on, like autumn colors. But let's let's just like dumb this way down to see the strength of prompts with Kittle. Just an example. All right, so super super like dumbed down version of that. And what I'm going to do right before I hit the generate button is instead of A, this is a little hack for uh, specifically for the way Kittle does it is because some AIs, you 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 may also commonly find that a lot of AIs struggle with things like um, hands, fingers, feet, even eyes. One, they're probably not trying to like provide you with a copyrighted image, I would assume, but it also has no designation of number. So instead of A, if I type in one, it should give me a much cleaner render as opposed to like multiple eye sockets, multiple cracks, like three rows of teeth, things like that. So let's generate it and see what happens. That's pretty cool. So it's definitely one skull and I've got the green leaves. I've got the flowers. So this checks all of the boxes. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's, that's, that's really nice. Just 
because we'll change bright colors to warm colors and let's pick um let's let's go back to show all let's go with acrylic that could be cool we haven't tried that one at all so let's go with acrylic and see what happens there it's pretty psychedelic i think it's got like uh flowers inside the sockets that are like uh, filled in let's do one more let's pick let's go back to photography but now that we've designated one uh let's see what it gives us warm colors greenly used detailed yeah let's see what happens let's see okay that's pretty cool i mean that looks like uh, like a realistic image like somebody shot like on a camera like that looks like that's sitting somewhere just one more time i know i said that was the end i want to go wide angled shot zoomed out and i just want to see so now we've got we've got a different image that's like looks like it's super high contrast we've got the orange warm colors we've got super dark eye sockets so you can really get anything under the sun and of course we haven't even talked about clip art styles we didn't go into that really at all you can get some really cool like marble effect one so oh it did give me some color so it's kind of like a marble rendering with some color around it that's kind of cool so you see all these all these clip art styles are here. You can get product shots. You can even get vector. So if you wanted a vector skull or a skull and crossbones or something like that, or if you wanted a pattern of skulls, you can do all of those things right here in Kittle. And I just ho I hope you enjoyed this little entertaining experiment. I just decided I wanted to test 10 different AIs. I just had that number in my head. I wanted to test 10 different ones, including Kittle. And I know skulls can sometimes be hard to generate. So I wanted to put all of these AIs to the test to see what it would generate for me. And you let me know down in the comments, you let me know like which one did you like the best? I mean, personally, I, I mean, I love Journey. I think Journey does a great job, but I also think the Kittle renders were also quite nice. I think the Leonardo renders were really cool. Um, I was also impressed with the Starry AI. So you let me know, have you used any of these before? What are you using AI for? There's so many questions that you need to go answer for me down in the comments. So let me know and don't forget to subscribe to Kittle. It'll take you just one second. You can hit that red subscribe button down there at the bottom. It'll just take you one second. So do that, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.